I wore this to the Grammys last year <gasps> and yes. custom Dolce Gabbana. Oh, I know that's why it was for me. <laughs> it's Dolce Gabbana. Legendary. Hello world, it's me again. It's your girl Moa. And I'm Fat Beauty. You know me for turning looks on RuPaul's Drag Race. I am an international superstar, darling. Now. I'm bringing you into the closet of music's biggest stars. We're walking into their wardrobe. Ooh, oh, you, you can have it. it. Yeah. And walking out with the story behind some of their most iconic looks. It's the walk-in, honey. Howdy, y'all. It's Mo Hart. And we're coming to you from the land of glitz and glam and the stars that make you say hot damn, Los Angeles, California. Today, we'll be talking to certified platinum country music star, Maren Morris. You know her from her popular debut album, Hero, and the chart-topping music group, Hi Women. Maren is helping birth a new fan base for country music by incorporating elements like pop, R&B, hip-hop, and rock with her own unique spin. Giddy on up to this rodeo and see what's in her closet. Come on, shoes, girl. Hello! Hi. 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 I love Hi. this so much. And today, we've got a special treat for you. Not only are we getting to know Marin Morris, but we're also getting to know stylist to the stars, Danny Michelle. So good to meet you. So first of all, I need to sing your praises. And I listened to your new single, Circle Around This Town, correct? Yes. And it is beautiful. Thank you. Well, I am a huge fan of yours oh. and Drag Race, so this oh. is an honor. I'm surprised you're not wearing the cow print today. Oh, so you really know who the doll is. Oh, yes. OK, OK, OK. <laughs> well, maybe we can have Danny like whip me up something, a little brown cow, a little razzle-dazzle, <laughs> a little rodeo real nice. Speaking jump. of rodeo. What? Yeah. <laughs> this one. Yeah. I wore this to the Houston rodeo, and that's a huge thing for Texans to get to do if you're a singer. And I was nine months pregnant. Oh, okay. so it can stretch stretch. Oh my gosh, it's like, it's neoprene. So Danny, a little birdie told me that you helped Miren design this lovely rodeo like costume. Yeah, it really is a special piece to us. When I met Marin, after our first fitting, I think it was, she looked at me and she was like, I have something to tell you. I'm pregnant. It was really? Kind of like, How do you go do a fitting pregnant? I'm like, I'm three months, but I'm pregnant. And then by nine months, I'm like, bang. <laughs> How did y'all like link up in me? I am like very into like what's meant to be. Mm -hmm. And I have been singing her song in my head, not knowing. I just heard it, it was like coming in. And then I got an email from Mary and she wants to meet. And I had just like put it together and I was like, it's destiny. And then we met and had that one fitting, and, and here we are today, two oh years later. Oh my god! <laughs> it's meant to be, this is my person. If you're humming someone's tune, if you're in the jam, you're in the vibe, it's meant to be. Danny, it was so fabulous meeting oh, you. So yes, thank you for You guys have fun. I know you have so much to talk about. It's gonna be great. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Marin, it's time for the rewind. This is where we like to go in depth and find all of those iconic looks or those looks that mean something to you. And my eyes are being drawn to this lavender gloma. Oh my God. Tell me. It's one of my favorite looks on a carpet I think I've ever worn. I was very hungover, so. <laughs> Marin, look at me. Uh-huh. <laughs> Very but I like weirdly looked amazing. I didn't look um, hungover. Great. But um, yeah, that's the little secret. This is Christian Siriano, and he was kind enough to do a custom look with this lavender. Yeah. And it was springtime. I was doing the ACM Awards. It was Vegas, so I love that it's a two piece because mm -hmm. it's like gowny but still movable and yes. fun. And it has pockets. It was just like so comfortable yes. all night in it. So tell me. <laughs> When you were Miss Top Gun, tell me about that journey, that whole experience. So the Air Force Thunderbirds reached out to me last year and said, do you want to fly in a fighter jet? Basically, you do this training on site for a few hours so you can learn how to breathe and move in the plane like when it goes into G-Force. Yes! So I got to wear the cutest jumpsuit that they gave me, but I couldn't keep it. Oh, okay. Don't yeah. you hate when they do that? They're like, we want you to wear this, look great, take some photos, and you're like, can I keep and it? And take it off. Right. <laughs> it's horrible. Stingy. Yeah. My tax dollars though. <laughs> that part, right? <laughs> you said something on an interview and you were saying how you're slightly biased about uh, the writers in Nashville. I struggle with writing as a singer-songwriter. So like what helps you allow yourself to be vulnerable to allow these people to come in and then write with you. I think what I've learned just from being a working songwriter, you have to leave your ego at the door and not worry about it and just dare to suck. Like some days you're just gonna have a terrible song and that's okay, it doesn't mean that you're terrible. It just means like the song gods weren't on your side today, but you have to like get through that sludge to get to the greatness. So just like 
power through. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, my dears. So now that we have jumped onto the past, let's blast to the future and talk about the fashion statements you're making today. And what are those outfits, my dear? Is it this one? Is it this one? Is it this one? Look, and who is the designer behind this? Yeah, this is Manuel, oh. who is a Mexican designer. He makes these amazing custom bedazzled suits, and he's dressed Elvis Presley and Johnny Cash and oh, Dolly. Wow. And this is like a three piece, which I think. Oh, it's a bralette. I yes. thought it was a cummerbund. I really did. I thought it was a cummerbund. You can wear it as one. You can put kind of custom stuff that's signature to you. So this has my name and I'm from Texas, so that's the outline. Yeah, the Country Music Hall of Fame has had this on display and let us borrow it for today. So, so we gotta give it back. You can even tell in the rhinestone detailing, like they're not just glued on, like they're even clamped in it. Like, He's really good at doing stage wear. The rhinestones are not falling off mid set. Right, yeah. okay, cause one slip. And, mm. oh. <laughs> That has happened to us all in a pair of palms. Right? Just... Manuel is a genius. Shout out to Manuel in Nashville. So is there a, a garment, a robe, a bathrobe, a shirt, something sentimental that your husband has given you? That... He is an artist as well. So when he's touring and I'm touring, we're usually in different cities every night. So I always make him leave me one of his t-shirts and it just smells like his cologne oh. and skin and it's it's like I can sleep in it when I'm on my bus. I don't have it here unfortunately. No, I live, I live. That's beautiful though. Thanks. Like now how many days does the scent last? I mean at least gets me through the week. Okay. And then you know, laundry day and he can just give me another one. I live. Yeah. <laughs> give me another Hanes. I'm yes. here for it. <laughs> now I spy with my little eye this couture white garment yes. like this. Oh, and it's about? Yep. Oh, it's giving me drama! Yeah, I won um, CMA Album of the Year in this, so Aww. it's just one of my favorites. I felt like an angel walking up on stage. I was in shock. I didn't realize I was going to win. And I was also pregnant, and I remember having to suck everything in to get the zipper up. <laughs> because it was that time where it's like you're not super showing, uh -huh. but just enough to not fit into yes, anything. Yes. <laughs> now, how was sitting on this? I'm just thinking about your bum, just all of the. It was a little the, prickly. A little prickly. Oh, that's prickly, what I thought. So. But I we thought suffered so. for the fashion gods. Uh, beauty is pain, right? Yep, oh yep. my god. You can wear this on the red carpet and then go to the after party right after. If you do, please, I would be honored. I'll tag you. I'll be honored. All right, my dear, let's mosey on down because I see like flowy lavender. Ooh. Oh, so she don't need that. Oh, um, you don't you need it. it. Yeah, yeah, look at God. Totally. See, he gives and takes away. I'm making room <laughs> for the new for 22. I wore this to the Grammys last year oh, and yes. customs will take a bona. But yeah, I just felt like a 20s flapper in it, and I saw it, and they like molded it to my body. Dolce & Gabbana. Legendary. <laughs> what shoe did you wear with it? You are all about the details. You, I love it. right, it's the, you have to get both. I think what we did was we custom dyed um, white shoes to match yes. the sweater. Okay, so word. it was seamless. <laughs> so I'm noticing that your garments are beautiful, expensive, but they're very sensual, sexual, but yet like modest. Like there is class there. Since having your baby, like has your style changed? Like how has that whole journey been being a mom? I mean, I think the only thing that's changed is my confidence and my body has grown since having him because I remember being so insecure as a new baby artist and just having that scrutiny for the first time in such a real way. So I feel like I can just wear whatever the hell I want now and don't get too sh I live, you, one thing I love is that in all of these looks, you've been like pregnant, but still turning it. So <laughs> is your baby like a fashion, like a little, like you step out the house looking good, matching twin in this type of sense? Like do y'all turn Oh yeah, together? I'm not gonna embarrass him. Oh. He's gonna be cute. <laughs> I live. So before I go, my dear, we wanna play a little special game. You are known as the fashion country music icon. So I have a few pieces and I wanna get your opinions about them. Do you mind? Let's do it. Let's play. Nudie suits. All about it. Uh, so Nudie is a designer, and I believe in little deja vu, boom, boom, boom. Midland, the country band, they had a few suits made in that same like style. Oh yeah. That was, this is also giving me that same kind of ooh, ah, ooh. But I know a big thing in Nashville is fringe. Tell me your thoughts. That means. <laughs> I live, I live. Yes, I that's, live. A, that's a check. Sequins and rhinestones. Get out of here if you're not about some sequins. Right, yeah. I've chain wallets. Um, we need to leave them in the past. Yes, done. Even for like country stars and music and everything too? It just it does not give me a good vibe. Cow print. 
always. Oh, like I you. would disrespect you by oh, saying that's not you. cool. Thank you, thank you. Snake skin boots. I love, I don't personally own a pair right now. She loves animals. <laughs> yeah, fake, faux snakes. Okay, we're not killing animals out here, but for those who do, <coughs> God's watching. Um. <laughs> well, thank you so much, my dear. This has been so amazing. Do you have anything else you want to promote? Yeah, um, my album Humble Quest is out March 25th, and you can listen to my single Circles Around This Town now. On Amazon Music. We have walked into your closet and got to know you and the stories, and now it's time to walk out. But um, can you show me around? Because I think Danny has more Dolce somewhere. Yeah, she's not here. Let's go. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode of The Walking. Click here to subscribe to Amazon Music and click here to watch more episodes of The Walking. And click here to listen to my new album, Humble Quest. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.